this is part 39 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what is AutoMapper and how to install and configure it for use in ASP.NET Core. AutoMapper is an object to object mapper, that is, it maps an object of one type to another type. For example, consider these two classes, Edit Employee Model and employee. They're almost identical in terms of the properties they have and their data types. The only difference is with an edit employee model, we have confirm email and we don't have that in employee class. Now, let's say we have this employee class in the service layer of our application and edit employee model class in the presentation layer. As far as this confirm email property within the edit employee model is concerned, we only need it in the presentation layer because on our page, we have a confirm email field and that field is bound to this confirm email property. We don't need it within our service layer. When our service layer retrieves data from the underlying database table, it is in this employee object. And when we pass this data to the presentation layer, we have to map the data in this employee object to edit employee model object. And when we save data, the opposite must happen. Map the data in edit employee model object to the employee object. So the service layer can then save the data in the underlying database table. So the point that I'm trying to make is a mapping like this, that is mapping an object of one type to another type is required when we pass data between different layers of an application. For example, when we pass data between data access, business, and presentation layers. At the moment, I have both edit employee component class and the razor file open, and this component presents employee data like this. Notice we have all the employee fields, including a field for confirm email. And then within our component class, we have two properties, a property of type employee and another property of type edit employee model. Within on initialized async method, our service layer, that is the employee service, returns employee data using the employee object. And then our view, that is the razor file, binds to edit employee model object. Notice in this case, the confirm email input field is binding to the confirm email property of edit employee model object. So we have a need to map data from this employee object format to edit employee model object because our view is binding to this object. And at the moment, we are copying data from the employee object into edit employee model object property by property, including copying the email into confirm email property. So this code is not only boring, it is also error prone. We can very easily do something like this using a tool like AutoMapper. So the first thing that we need to do is install AutoMapper. This is the package that we'll install. It has a dependency on AutoMapper. So both the packages will be installed when we install the first package. It is within our Blazor web project, we need to install AutoMapper. So right click on the dependencies folder and launch NuGet Package Manager. Search for AutoMapper extensions dependency injection package. Notice it has a dependency on the AutoMapper package itself. So let's install this. There we go, installation complete. Next, we need to add AutoMapper services to the dependency injection container. Remember the drill? We do this in configure services method of our startup class. On this incoming object of type i service collection, we will now have add automapper method. This method is in automapper namespace, so let's bring in the namespace first. As the name implies, this method adds automapper services to the dependency injection container. Notice, we still have a red squiggly. This is because we have got a bit more configuration to do. We'll fix this error in just a bit. For AutoMapper, to map an object of one type to another type, it looks for something called mapping profiles. So to create a mapping profile, we create a class. To this models folder, let's add a new class file. We can give this file any name we want. I'm gonna call it employee profile. To make this class a mapping profile, we make it derive from the AutoMapper profile class. Bring in the AutoMapper namespace. And in the constructor, we call this method create map to create a mapping. 
and then we need to specify the source and the destination using the generic parameters. So we want to map employee object, bring in the required namespace, to edit employee model. This creates a mapping from employee to edit employee model. We need the reverse mapping as well, that is from edit employee model to employee. For that, we call the create map method again and reverse the order. In configure services method of our startup class, we still have a red squiggly. So to this method, we need to pass the type of the class that contains our mapping profile. So let's copy the class name and pass it to this method. We need to bring in the required namespace. And to get the type of the class, we use type of keyword. We are almost there. Our goal is to get rid of this boring mapping code within the component class. Before we can do that, let's inject the automapper imapper service, bring in the required namespace. In Blazor, to inject a service into a component class, we use the inject attribute. All that is left to do is on the mapper service, we have map method. So let's call that to map employee type to edit employee model type. As you can see from the IntelliSense, notice the first parameter is the source and the second parameter is the destination. With this in place, we can now get rid of this manual mapping code. With all these changes in place, let's run our project. There we go. Our project is running in debug mode. Let's place a breakpoint right here and then click the edit button. Notice the data from the employee object is mapped into this edit employee model object. All the properties are populated except this confirm email property. It is null. We'll understand why in just a bit. Let's continue. As expected, confirm email field is empty. Now, between these two types, that is employee and edit employee model, all the properties except confirm email have matching names and data types. So automapper automatically maps the values of these matching properties, but it does not know where to map the value for this confirm email property. And that's because we don't have a matching property in the employee class. So we have to tell automapper explicitly where to map the value for this confirm email property. And we do that with a custom mapping. And we specify a custom mapping in our mapping profile class. So let's stop debugging first. In this mapping, the source is employee and the destination is edit employee model. To specify a custom mapping, we use for member and first we specify the destination. We use a lambda for that. And remember, the destination property for which we want the custom mapping is confirm email. Next, the source, we specify that with another lambda. Let's call the parameter option. And we want to map this from, we need to specify the source property. For that, we include another nested lambda. And the source property is email. Notice, we now have data in all the fields, including confirm email. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you.